Ross! Uh, Max is pathetic. He, uh... <laughs> Mac, Max works part-time as a barista, he's never had a girlfriend, and he lives at home with his parents. He, uh, he does love his parents quite a bit, though. He, he told me about his mom, this is a direct quote, uh, his mom is someone he admires and loves dearly, uh, which is very sweet, but a strange thing to say about the person you think about when you come. Damn, that was a mouthful. Something no woman has ever said after blowing Harry. <laughs> It's true, I've never had a girlfriend, but none of Harry's girlfriends have ever had a boyfriend. Some people say that if they had a time machine, they would go back and kill Hitler. Uh, if Max had a time machine, he would go back and fuck baby Hitler. I just, I want to thank Harry for being here. Uh, he's a very busy guy. I'm sure, I'm sure you're really busy uh, standing in a cornfield scaring birds earlier. <laughs> Harry looks like a scarecrow, but if at the end of The Wizard of Oz, the wizard told him, dude, you got to stop smelling Dorothy's hair in her sleep. It's weird. It's a pretty good joke, bud. Maybe mom will put that one on the fridge. Uh... <laughs> Matt? Max has the eyes of a man who has not been able to sleep since he did that thing in Afghanistan. <laughs> Harry looks like he takes Women's History Month really seriously because he makes 80% of what a man makes. He, lo he looks like he goes down on his girlfriend during her period because of just how much he hates the patriarchy. I look like this, I look like that. It looks like only one of us knows how to write a setup. Uh, uh, Max, uh, Max is pretty muscular, actually. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, Max, are those muscles uh, all natural, or did your mom put steroids in the breast milk? Harry, uh, Harry looks like a camp counselor who's stuck around for way too long because he just fell in love with the magic of summer. <laughs> summer being the name of a 15-year-old girl. Good one lives at Homelander. <laughs> yeah. I'm not saying that Max is a Nazi, I am saying that he is currently roasting a Jew, and the next thing he roasts will be a cross in the yard. Dude, that legal pad is so ridiculous. You look like you're trying to get me to sign a petition for a cause no one cares about. <laughs> Harry is, uh, <laughs> he's Jewish. Uh, he's a very skinny, you can tell he doesn't really read the Torah. He looks like he tore a muscle trying to brew kombucha. <laughs> Harry's such a skinny Jew, if starving Palestinian children saw him, just saw just how bad it can get, they'd be like, here, you guys can just have Gaza. This is, we don't need it. Love that one, Robert Disappointing Son. That was five, right? That was five. Let's give it up for them, everybody. We got to get behind you over here. That was a fucking awesome battle. Keep going for it. What the fuck? Yes! <laughs> I want to start off with John Lilly. What do you think? Here? You know the movie Twins, where like there's an Arnold Schwarzenegger and like a baby Rita? <laughs> you, but it's a small one. <laughs> I forgot their names. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I know them both. You know what? Uh, both of you guys found super hard when you tried to get edgy with like your Hitler shit and your Gaza shit and then uh, most of the other jokes that you did. Um, I liked Harry's comebacks, though, this time, and I'm very embarrassed to say this, but uh, I am going to vote for Harry. Uh, sorry. Okay. I don't like him. No, no, no one does, but he earned a vote. Give it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 
Wow, that was something else. This is really great. Uh, I like that Max uh, doesn't have a girlfriend, but still wants to bully the nerd. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's, uh, that, that's the impression I got. Uh, but I thought the comebacks that Max had were really, really strong. Every time you, you swung really hard on Harry, he had something to swing right back at you. And uh, you also did three jokes at the end there, Max. Leave it to a white guy to take more than he's told he can have. Uh, but I'm going to go with Max. I'm going to go with Max. Okay, white on white. Max gets one. David, what do you think? Who's next? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's what? That's, that's a tough call, man. Oh, shit. Max, Max, Max. Chill, chill, yes, chill. Which one do you like, man? Oh, this is wild. When somebody wake up my wife, that's uh, uh, I'm going with Max. Okay, Max gets a vote. Let's do the one. Everybody fell asleep, apparently, too. I'll give it up for me. It's a ball. Kaylee? This was really fun, you guys. This is super fun to watch. I also want to thank you guys for taking time away from Boys Town tonight to be here. <laughs> um, that, no, it was super fun to watch. I think you guys were pretty, pretty neck and neck for most of it. I will say, I just think Max edged you out for me. Um, so I'm going to Max. Okay. Wait a minute. Which one is Max? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Max wins. Give it up for Max. Give it up for Max. It's three goals for him. Before we go, though, I need final thoughts. Unfortunately. <laughs> and I'm sorry, it is the rules. From Coslo, my beautiful boy. That's right. You can't sound like a beautiful woman like that. Uh... Max, I like how you look like uh, you jerk off to a mirror. <laughs> uh, can, can you tell me, though, uh, being on stage with Harry for this long, uh, do you now smell like his cigarettes? <laughs> uh, um, I, Harry made a very good point. Uh, Max did not have a single joke that did not include the words you look like in them. Uh, and because of that, I gotta give it to Harry. Okay. It was two to three. I can test the vote, but Max wins. They give it up for him. They give it up for hey, thanks for watching Roast Battle Chicago right here on the YouTubes, all right? Why haven't you subscribed yet? That's right. We have a whole bunch of free stuff. You can check out full docu-series, full battles with some of the biggest names and the meanest ones in all of comedy. You can subscribe, hit that like button, and check out these videos right over here.